that our district is one of the best in the country, as far as I'm concerned. I am actually a product of D5. My family is. My mom actually retired from the district office. And I think we're all really good people. Um, it's just an amazing place to work with our support staff, making sure that our faculty is able to do the things that they need to do on a daily basis. We're just one big happy family. I started in the 2008-9 school year at Chapin Elementary as a cafeteria monitor. So the next year I did a lot of subbing. And then I was blessed enough to get into a part-time cafeteria thing here actually. And then um, moved to Oak Point and was in the cafeteria there. And then I got blessed. Um, Claire Thompson and Wendy Stoudemire asked me if I wanted to interview to be a shadow for a blind student that we were getting. I said, that sounds amazing. So I went to Lake Murray Elementary School to be a shadow for a student that was visually impaired. Um, we ended up at Nursery Road and I was there for two years and just the staff at all of these schools have been phenomenal. I was at Nursery Road for a couple years and they had a position come up in here for a bed assistant and I applied here. I got that and then got moseyed on over to the intermediate school for six years and I wanted to come back. I love the, the high school age. That's kind of my jam. Well, I'd come in early so that the room numbers can be given out to our wonderful Michael custodian so he can get the classrooms open in the morning and make sure I have all the last minute substitutes ready to go. I try really hard to greet them in the mornings when they come in. And if there's a little hiccup along the way, we have to kind of be flexible and I've been known to run into a classroom. But I kind of work on the substitutes for the, the day. I fill in the front office while the ladies are at lunch. We are a great group of people. We know we can't keep everybody happy 180 days of the year. There's gonna be some fun and some not fun, but it's just, it's a great staff. And we all just, we love it. Well, we decided as a district that we love and grow our students. And when you think about what Holly has done here, it's really a reflection of that. You know, just kind of how she loves our, our students and loves our faculty. Um, again, that's a part of that, that's just speaking and being life. That's, that's a form of love when you're supportive for someone. Um, and again, when you do that, you set the groundwork and the environment and soil for growth. And Holly does that at a very high level. Um, she's constantly helping people um, just trying to be that spark for them to, to have a great day, always checking. Um, she's a team player. Um, she does everything to be a life force in our building. That's why we're so proud of her. Hey girl, I'm really proud of you. Made it this far. Hope for the best. Love you. Hey mom, just wanted to say I'm really proud of you. Congratulations on getting this far. Love you so much. Go Eagles. Holly, we're so happy for all that you do here at Chapin. You are definitely part of our one heartbeat and you put up with a lot. Every day. <laughs> Holly, we love you and we are so excited for you. Thank you for all you do for us. Best of luck. You deserve it. Holly, thank you for everything you do for us. You are always there with a great attitude and a smile and a readily available supply of mints for which we are forever grateful for you. Good luck. We love you. Good luck. It's, it's such an honor that they chose me. Um, Trying to be the lead clerk is not the most fa fabulous person for the teachers <laughs> when they're not here. I'll get texts at 10, 11 o'clock at night and stuff, but I have hope that I have developed a relationship with them of the positive side and not a negative side. And to have them realize that that's what I've tried to do for them means so much. It means that I think I did it, to turn it around to a positive instead of a negative.